What's good, everybody? It's me again, Marshall Hayes. Here's a pretty simple, pretty basic, but important technique called bussing. This is important because it not only helps your workflow, but it saves processing power when you're mixing. So with this project in front of us, I got a beat I made and some vocals I recorded. They're not my vocals, they're one of my artists. And I've actually already finished mixing and mastering this song, but I've exported a track out of that and then brought that into a new project for the sake of this tutorial. So all these purple tracks are instrument tracks. So if I hold shift, click the last one, select all them. And then if I send the output to bus one, a new aux channel gets created with the input of bus one. So all these instrument tracks pass through this channel before they get to the master out. So I could use that for soloing for a muting, for volume changes, and I could also use that for processing. If I wanted to put any kind of EQ, compression on the beat, but not the vocals, now I could just put it on this channel instead of the master. Todo el mundo le gusta mi ritmo, ritmo sabroso. Le encanta a todos, a todo el mundo le gusta mi ritmo, menos. All these red tracks are lead vocal takes. All these yellow tracks are multi-tracks of the lead vocal. So to create a lead vocal bus, hold shift, select those. Hold command, shift, command, shift. And put the output to all these lead vocal tracks to bus two. That should create another aux channel. Name this one lead vocals. And with this, instead of using 12 EQs, I could use one EQ. Instead of using 12 compressors for the lead vocals, I could use one compressor. Instead of 12 de I could use one de -esser. And just like with the beat, I could also use it to solo, mute, and change the volume with one fader instead of worrying about 12 faders. All these green tracks are background vocals. So select all my background vocals and change the output of these to bus 3 and all these are going to go through aux 3, name that one background vocals. So now I could process the background vocals separately from the lead vocals with their own EQ, their own compression and also just have them on their own, vo on their own volume fader, their own solo and mute. Now with this song, this is a pretty simple song, pretty simple arrangement, so I'd only really need three buses, but for a more complex song, a more complex arrangement, maybe have a separate bus for the lead vocals on the chorus, separate bus for the lead vocals on the bridge, maybe a few, break the beat down into buses of drums, bass, synth elements, all that. But with this one, I think three, three buses is main elements, and that'll give me control of the song in three faders instead of 24 faders. And, of course, it'll save all the processing power of being able to just put two compressors, two EQs, instead of 20 or 16 compressors, 16 EQs. Now, that's really for signal processing. This is really for signal processing, for creative effects, for reverbs, delays, any kind of modulation, distortion. Usually, I would make that as an effect loop. So, I'm going to create another video on how to do effect loops. It's using the same concept, but using the sends. So subscribe to the channel and check out the channel if I've already posted that. And thanks for watching. Peace.